Welcome back to Downstairs and Dragons. This is Lost in Finders, episode three. Our party just left Kawabanga, the rock gnome village, and they're headed through the Cloven Mountains to an old dwarven city called Kundrakar. They're being possibly chased by displacer beasts, not really sure. So let's head over and see what's going on. We have Cordelia playing Quella. We have Josh playing Ixlador. We have Adler playing Phlebotomus. And we have Dieter playing Kieran. And then, of course, we have our pet swan, Quest, joined along. So, you guys, as I remember saying last time, had, had to sit underneath a little overhang to wait out the rain. And then when the rain was over, you guys could have spread out and slept. Is that what you want to do the moment the rain stops, you guys lay out and sleep eight hours? Or do you want to just take the exhaustion and go someplace safer? We should probably sleep. Okay. So how are you guys going to handle the new eight-hour rest that's starting at about four in the morning? Any ideas? Are you going to take watches? I think that would probably be best. Who's going to... And so it's going to get light out soon. So are you guys going to, like, sleep down low, sleep in the middle, sleep up high, try to find some rubble to sleep behind? How are you setting up camp? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> I'm fucking tired. Yeah. Let's just sleep here. Works for me. Works for me. Or we not running in the rain too. So are there wet. are there like any like uh, overhangs or more shady areas that we can sort of like conceal ourselves in at least a little bit? Right here. Like right here. If you guys, so it's a little. It's like damp rubble where you are. You guys had knocked some boulders down into the sitting water and you were sitting on top of the boulders. So it's, you could go down into the damp rubble or you could climb up someplace higher and find some arid shrubs that are very sparse and twiggy. I don't particularly want to spend too much time looking for a place to sleep unless it's like immediately right here. I agree. I'll use druid craft and see if there's any more inclement weather on the way. Um, even though it's like a dry, arid mountain, it's actually going to be just kind of muggy today. Gross. So like the the water isn't going to really dry out as fast as you would hope. Uh, well, let's get up high then. Okay. So you guys are going to go up high? And you're going to... Okay, as you get up higher, you can start seeing grass out in the sunlight, just like in the picture. Um, and there are some shrubs. So are you guys going to go up to the very top of something, kind of a ledge? I... Yeah. Which one? No. I don't think we should go on a ledge. Let's let's get as high as we can and see if we can uh, get a good vantage. Maybe there's a cave somewhere? Any flatter areas we can hang out on. Okay. So I'm going to say you find out... Uh, well, my point is I wasn't sure if you were going to be in the middle of a cliff or the top. But it sounds like you guys are going to a top. So I need you to roll athletics with exhaustion to get up. So exhaustion, that's a disadvantage, right? Yep. Wow! Okay. Six. You're used to climbing trees, and you are struggling to get up the rocks, especially because it's wet. What did the rest of you get? I got a 14. 10. 12. Okay. Everyone above a 10, for the most part, can climb the bigger ledges and work their way up, but Quella is just exhausted and God damp and tired at the bottom of the canyon. <laughs> Guys, I can't get up. Have a nice night. Okay. Um, and you ride the chicken. <laughs> are there any... Well, there are boulders up there if anyone has rope. You can toss a rope down or something, yeah. Who has rope? I believe I have rope. I'm pretty sure I have I have rope. you <laughs> down at the bottom. Well, I could throw it up. I don't we, have rope. Uh, we sh uh, can I shoot? I'm pretty sure I, I have rope. I have quest fly it up there. Um. Sure. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Um, so you just kind of gently wrap um, some around her, like, shoulders, and she flies up. Fly off. Give them the rope so I can get up there. So this big, loud, like, loud fluttering comes at you guys and kind of skids into the gravel next to you. It's a monster. <laughs> you are a terrible person. 
I don't want to go near that thing to grab the rope. You can get it. All gets it. Thank you. So if someone could roll survival to tie the rope around a boulder safely. I can do that. Feature skills and survival. All right. Uh, I got a 17. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you tie to the boulder. And now if you just want to roll... Well, do you want to be pulled up or do you want to climb it? Oh. I'll try... I want to be pulled up. I want to be pulled up. Nice. <laughs> no persuasion. No okay, I will. Them. I'll just climb. You guys want to roll your opposing persuasion? I'll just climb. Oh, okay. So yeah, roll athletics. At disadvantage again? Yeah. Because you're tired. Is that... Oh, that yeah, yeah that cocked. No, well, it doesn't matter. You can't get much worse than that. Natural one? Nope, yep. <laughs> so you go to pull the rope, and somehow... You're just sitting there like... And it just pops off the boulder and falls down. Oh, damn. Mm. Wow. Have you not climbed rope before? Shh, keep your voices down. I'm tired. Send the dog up again. She's off. <laughs> <laughs> so Go up again. Down. Okay, so your son is diligently helping you. She's not happy with me right now. And, um, no, she, she'll do whatever you want. She's just a little winded after flying, like, straight <laughs> I'm up. I'm sorry, down. class! Kind of has to go back and forth to get up there. You guys get the rope again. I love your class. You retie it to the boulder and... I'm going to help pull her up as she's climbing. There we go! A little survival um, at disadvantage. Tie a knot in the bottom that you can put your foot into. Oh. Natural one again? Yeah. Okay, so you tie the knot. And as you're climbing and you're being pulled up, roll a, oh, my athletics. Can I give, can oh, I give oh, guidance? Can I well? Yeah. And then roll an athletics and your side too. Uh, and oh, I give guidance. No. Uh, 14. Okay. So you're actually getting her up about halfway. Quella is about 25 feet up or so. 14. When the... And you're doing great. You're holding on. You're climbing along with. And the We're rope coming. that your foot is in breaks. And you, like, start to fall. Roll a deck save to try to grab Shit. it and hold on. Uh, at disadvantage? Uh, no, this will be just regular. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a natural one again. Uh, for survival? No, um... Deck save. Deck save. It's in your saves in the bottom left. Uh, I think saves aren't until, like, four levels of the gospel. Eleven? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you're able to hold on, and now you're gripping on with your thighs and your arms, and um, Ixeldor's going to pull you the rest of the way up, and you're kind of dragged up like ragdoll over the corner <laughs> of the cliff laying on the... Well, Thanks, Ixeldor. Yeah, no problem. That's rough. You're a ranger. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm wet, and I'm tired. We're all going to die? We're going to be fine. You know, if you keep calling her a duck or a chicken or... Whatever, I hope you do. Now we've all had a well, very hard will. night. Let's just <laughs> let's just go uh, to sleep. Please. Let's just go to sleep. Alright, so who is doing the first watch? Not me. Not me. I will. <laughs> so you guys find um, some brush to sleep between and you don't have a tent anymore. Do you guys have your bedrolls? No, probably not. Nope. I you probably probably would have left them there. Hold the yeah. fuck off. No, you're tent. Taking your armor off to sleep? Yeah, I right. well, it's come I up guess enough. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna look around for a bunch of moss. I have a bed roll. Just long sheets of moss. Oh, to build like just a bed so people can actually sleep. That's right. I would like you to roll um, survival, but at but with everyone's assistance, so that would cancel out the disadvantage. All right. Uh, nineteen. Mm -hmm. You guys all help. Um, with Kieran kind of pointing out what he's looking for, kind of helping you think straight because you're starting to fall asleep while walking and you're able to find things to sleep on. Um, so you guys have makeshift beds. You're taking your armor off. Kieran's got his armor on so he can keep watch. What? <laughs> I can't keep my eyes open. So, um, this, since you didn't get a full rest last night, I'm tempted to have you keep watch at, at, like with a constitution save. Oh, to keep from falling asleep? Yeah. Can you do That's the thing. I'm an elf. It's the magical sleep that you're not affected by. You don't even sleep normally. Oh, you just meditate. No, we just Fine, meditate. then roll perception at disadvantage. <laughs> I was trying to... Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> ha! 
Ah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, well, I I got a seven. So now you're up pretty high. Are you like standing up and looking around, or are you just sitting uh, and listening? I'm going to be sitting and looking around and listening. Okay, the rain's been stopped for about an hour or two now. And... And I'm preparing my spells for the next day as well. You're up high, and you think you hear, like, a rock crumble um, at a different location, like another high point away from you. Uh, if you wanted to try to follow that noise and go see what's going on out there. It's, it's, there's a big valley between the two high points, so it's not like somebody could just jump over to you. You've got a big rift between you. I'll try and uh, low crawl up to maybe a spot where I'd be hidden. Okay. Do it. St- are you doing stealth or stealth roll? Yes, yeah, stealth. Uh, 18. All right. So you're able to sneak very quietly up. Um, you're familiar with the plants that are growing up here, so you're able to stick to them and away from the rubble. And you actually are able to get to the edge without making any noise. And you do see the swish of a couple black tails as they go around the corner of a cliff away from you, going away from you. And there's there's a ravine between us. Yeah, I would say this thing is probably at least 100 feet away through the air. Um, Great. Even longer away if you count the dips and climbing up to you. All right, then. But it was walking in an opposite direction from you. So just... For the rest of your watch? I'm just going to be laying there, looking in that direction. You don't see anything else. And your four hours is up. Well, I'll just lay right here and meditate. <laughs> in the same spot? You're gonna no, go no, like... it's, it's a little rocky. I'll, I'll go back to the moss. Quilla! Yeah? Keep your eyes in this direction. You're okay. feeling much better. Okay. You have all your energy back. Keep a sharp I got eye. this, guys. Don't worry. All right, I saw some tentacles. Tentacles? What do you mean? Displacer beasts. Six-legged big cats with tentacles. They're back. Okay. They're they're probably scouting around for us. Well, I guess I'm going to keep watch for them, aren't I? All right, good. Good night. Good morning. (laughs) So, Quella, um, it's about eight in the morning. Yes. Eight or nine. And nine. And I'd like you to roll just perception. No disadvantage or anything, just one roll for perception. Five. Oh. So you did exactly as you were told. Are you stealthing at all to be quiet or anything? Did you yes. roll a five or did you get a five? Um, I got a five. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So you did exactly as you were told. <laughs> you sat exactly where Karen was sitting. And you watch the spot where Kieran told you to watch, and it's really beautiful up here. There's just <laughs> all these different stripy colors in the rocks and the cliffs, and see the so sun pretty. hitting the trees, and it's just really nice. It was just four hours of... It's nice out here. Wow. <laughs> You've been in forests for the last 50 years, and you get to see this all new, this whole new part of nature, and, and then the others start waking up, and oh... You guys start waking up. Oh, hi, guys. Good morning. Uh, send your, uh, your goose around, fly around, see if it can I'll see I'll send anything. her when you, tell, when you say what she actually is. A pigeon. No, she's oh, not going anywhere really until you is. say what she actually is. I guess we'll just get run down and hunted by guess a so. scarier predator. Guess so. They'll eat you first, then. Oh, well. So They won't eat me. I'll get away. And you're then the I'll biggest. hunt down your duck. You're the biggest. And no, that's Ixaldor. Wow. That is true, so, yes. <laughs> now do your damn ranger job and look around with your flying quail. Well, at least got the first two letters right. Most quails are flying, aren't they? No. No? The, no, they're ground birds mostly. So you can never fly really? off the end. Yes. No. Like chickens. I mean, they kind of fly, but yeah, like, like chickens. Remind yeah. me um, how much, it's just, a, it's like an emotional connection, right? Empathic, yeah. Empathic? So, what do you say to your swan? Hey, Quest. <laughs> Go fly around. 
She wouldn't honk if she would like weigh your tail and stuff. Go fly around and see if you can find these black tentacle beasts. Okay, so your swan opens up her huge wings and she's got her waddly little duck feet. Look at her go. And she flaps her wings a whole bunch at the edge and flies off and goes around for a while and she's always within sight of you. Um, and she just gets farther and farther each time. Okay. And how far is the emotional connection? As far as you want, right? Is um, like a mile? Well, you can sense, it's a mix of looking at her body language and looking at what she's looking at and sensing her emotions. So as she gets to a certain point and you can tell she's caught something with her eye and she kind of kind of swivels a little bit and then goes farther. So you know that in the far direction Kieran pointed out, even farther out, there's one. And then flies back around the opposite side of the cliff that you guys are on. And about equidistance, there's another one. Oh, shit. So they're probably about a mile apart from each other. So they're like surrounding us. Yeah. They're, sp- they're spreading out so that they can find us. Find a trail. Mm-hmm. Or they've already found us. And then they just... wouldn't be a mile away. Well, maybe they're waiting for us to run. Well, no. The one that we saw, hunters. that was going in the opposite direction, true. right? Yes. Is that, so would that be like a related one to them? Or is it just like some other displacer beast just going past that way? I get the feeling that they have like pride groups. Okay. But right. if it was coming this way, it wouldn't necessarily be from the same group, right? I mean, it was only traveling away from me in the instance that I saw it, oh. so it was probably just scouting around. And a mile okay. isn't very far for a big cat's territory. Okay. Yeah, they cover oh. a lot of miles. Okay. Yeah. So basically, um, we need to be moving quickly. Yeah, um, let's go. We should go. Are you guys going back to the tent? No. No. Okay. So you guys are a little far off the trail. You guys just had to find a spot in the rain, so you're going to have to find your way back to the trail, and then... You decided off camera that you were going to stay on the trail, kind of in the middle of the cliffs, taking the stairs and the weaves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we should probably set some sort of trap. That's a good idea. Are you going to do it on the trail after you've walked a ways in that direction? I think we should do it here. We slept here for the night. Our smell's going to be here the longest. That is true. That's a good point. I'll cast the spell Snare. Um, I could do that, at least. Okay. Uh, Quilla, while, yeah. while we're getting things ready here, setting up traps and whatnot, can you hunt us down some grub? I can do that. Use it as bait, because I can cast good berry. That'll feed us for a day. I can do that. Good. I'll search for some... Ixador, could you just watch and make something? that they don't crawl up our arseholes? I will keep watch, yes. Go ahead and roll, um, with survival. So with the rain, you're not going to find much like scat or urine. So you're more looking for um, nests and beds that they would have laid in. So you're kind of looking along the edges of the cliff for little like cubby holes. Seven. Okay. Um, You didn't find much. You knew it was going to be sparse out here. You think in the middle of summer... Sorry, this is hard. Uh, you found a hole that a big six-foot snake was in. Ooh. And it's in there, and it's like, pss, pss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, what was it doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so then, yeah, it's up to you if you want to grab the six-foot snake and kill it and cut it up, or if you want to... Well, I definitely want to catch it. And you can't really identify it because it's too dark where it is. Oh, but you're an elf. Uh, it's not a venomous species, it's just a meat Constrictor. Constrictor, yeah. I'm gonna just grab it. <laughs> just reach in there. Just gonna snatch it. Oh, uh, let's do a... Uh, oh, god damn it. I guess a deck save? Grapple check. Grapple check, oh. Grapple check? Really? Yeah. It's more about Sorry. speed than Thank it is you. about strength, though. For god's sake. Would it be acrobatics, then? Or animal Six. Handling? Oh, animal handling would've worked. Did you do your animal oh, handling? Yeah, <laughs> Oh, actually, yeah. Well, we are just waking up. Natural 20. Okay, there yeah. You go. So you just grab it, and you've got, it's long, and it's got meat on it. I mean, it's enough for a meal for breakfast. You'll have to cook it. So are you going to take it up and kill it? Kill it now? Oh. Oh. You hunted for meat in the woods. Yeah, but it's, it's 
not doing anything wrong. No. You're a cold-blooded murderer. <laughs> you are a hunter. Well, you I'm going to bring it back and let someone else kill it, because I'm not going to. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let Kieran kill it, because he seems like the mean kind of one who would do that. <laughs> or Flebo. I can Maybe go Flebo more. So you're talking you go Flebo. Okay, so I'm going to... She gonna... comes up and she's got this snake that's twice as long as you. That's going to kill it me. somewhere else. Good. Can... <laughs> okay, can you, like, hold it down? Quilla. What? Finish your fucking job. So I'm going to grab a I brought and a smash space. <laughs> it's okay. Roll just a... Okay, it's, it's a hit. on the, it's on the, the floor. Hit. Roll the hit. Don't add proficiency. Floor? Just the ground. Down. So we can cut just, it. Uh, what? Just, just your deck. I'm holding it still. Seven. Well, it's incapacitated, and it's a snake, so I'm going to say you hit it, and you crush its head. I got it. Oh. You I'm so sorry, little snake. That's a mess. Well, there Good. you go, there throw, you go. <laughs> throw it in the circle there. The ranger salon knows how to cut the food, right? <laughs> yes. Well, the Quilla, from now on, if you find prey, you kill the prey. Okay. Pretend they're goblins. Do you have fire going? Oh, I could do that. No. So what are you guys going to do with it? We don't have to cook it because we're leaving it as bait. That's we're true. Gonna we're just going to gut it. Oh my god, I thought you were eating it. Why don't we chop, oh. we should chop it into pieces? So, I have a question. Yeah. While she was doing that, could I have looked for, like, like fillets. in the immediate vicinity, any, like, poisonous plants or anything I could use to poison the meat? Yep. I actually have a list. Hey, that's a good idea. I'm so glad I spent 16 hours on this this week. Would that be a nature roll? <laughs> mm-hmm. Twelve. Mm-hmm. What are with these rolls? You guys always have really bad rolls. Roll. Get the bad ones out first. That's true. Mm-hmm. Twelve actually is pretty good. I guess it's, it's better, better to get it with the stuff that doesn't matter too much like this. Better than my rolls. I got two nat ones in a row. Sorry, I'm working on it. No problem. Cat's claw. It's a sharp shrub. When you walk past it, it'll tear at your clothes. It's got really sharp twigs. And How cat's claw is normally edible, but if it's fruited, then it is poisonous. And there are fruits starting on it. So if you wanted to collect the leaves and try to use that as a poison, you could. Yeah, I'm gonna do that and then like... I'll cut it down the middle and you can shove a bunch of the, the poison bits in it. Are you talking about like, the, like cutting the snake down the middle? Hi. What? Sorry, just had a daydream. What if someone like had their snacks and their dice and they accidentally ate a whole die? Oh, oh my god. That would be like Sorry. a choking Dumb answer. daydream? That, that's gonna be my dreams later. <laughs> they, they had like a die and they're like chips or something. Well, because I had my food sitting it's a there with a die and I was just like, it's like oh, you I didn't actually do it, but I thought about it. Oh, I could see someone doing that, oh, but God. it would be kind of hard to, when they went to go two. You what if it's the metal dice? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You're having a trip to the dentist later. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you would notice if it was the metal dice, though. Uh, it's it's, it's, so it's heavier. heavier than a chip. Okay. Well, what if you're eating, like, a corn chip? Those are pretty heavy. So I'm guessing this conversation came out because one of you was thinking about eating one of the rocks. Like, what if what if you ate one of the rocks with the uh, with the snake? Would that be enough to hurt? I don't. That was. Uh, no, I don't know. Hey, Kieran, I dare you to I... eat this rock. <laughs> no, thank you. How about this pebble? Me too. I dare you too. Double dare. I'm I'm all right. I'm busy here. So I think get... we have something you know to do. <laughs> oh right, and then I, I'm gonna poison the snake meat. Okay, okay, so you have um, cat claw leaves in a snake corpse, and you've got a snare trap. Magic snare trap, right? Yeah. Yes. And you guys are going to go try to find your way back into the path? Oh, before we go, I am going to cast alarm on the area, so if anyone comes in within a 20-foot radius of the traps... How far away do you have to be from alarm for it to work? A mile. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, so it'll just give us all a mental ping. All of you or just you? Just you. Just me? Okay, I'll just give me. Okay. You put alarm spell down and make sure you mark that spell slot off for the day. Oh, um, you guys. It's a ritual spell, so I don't. And then I'll, uh. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, ritual spell. I'll, I'll spell cast slot. Good Betty. That'll feed us. Mm hmm. Yeah. Two spells. Guys. Um, whoever's using the maps, please roll survival and find your way back to the path. Quella. Quella. I will assist you in this. I'm gonna. Means you roll at advantage. And then I'll give guidance. 
So a D4 as well. So add a D4. Gosh darn it. It slips to another one. That was a 14. Roll a D4 and add it. 18 then. Add a D4. Add a D4. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> 15. <laughs> okay. You can find your way back. You just have to kind of weave a little bit. Jump down safely. 19. 19. 19. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so you guys weave your way through. And then you I'll cast... You back on the old path, which is a little wider for you to walk on. I will cast Pass Without Trace Ooh. right before we leave, so we don't leave any tracks. That's good. Awesome. Do we want to progress quietly from here on out? I don't think that's as necessary. If they hear us, they're close enough to smell us. Good point. Although I believe we can't be tracked by any means other than magical means we pass without a trace. So I don't know if we would. Can't be tracked except by magical means. That's... that's tracked? Oh, so I guess it does... It would conceal... would it conceal? It conceals our scent for an hour. That's pretty good. Okay. I'm also going to have Quest fly overhead just to kind of stay it back a little bit to kind of just watch our backs to see, make sure nothing's coming at us. Just get okay. a bird's eye view of everything. Um, mm-hmm. Swans can't stay in the air forever. She'll come down and rest a couple times. Well, oh, she's special. <laughs> That's true. She'll just kind of step down and rest a couple <laughs> times. But for now, um, you guys get about a half hour out and the alarm goes off. Oh, no. Yeah. oh But you can't see what's going oh, on. Oh, no. Okay. So, let's keep going, guys. Um, perhaps we should hurry? Yeah, let's go at like a brisk jog. Uh, wait, let's, uh, let's just run. Can, can your, uh, can your goose that laid the golden egg fly up and see if there's a displacer beast caught in a magical snare? Yes, she can. Okay. Half hour's about a mile. Okay. So she's right at the edge. Well, she's looking like half a mile out. And you get an emotional sense of a confirmation. Mm-hmm. Like a affirmative. That there is something trapped? All right, let's book it! Yeah, we should probably go real fast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's something back there. How long are you guys going to run? A half hour? Um, we're out of... I think we should start casting Long Strider. Yeah, good idea. I can do that. That'll increase our speed by 10 feet. Uh, Traveling at a normal pace, we can move 3 miles an hour. What about a brisk pace? Uh, Fast pace, 4 miles an hour. But we take minus 5 to our passive perception. That's okay. Yeah. Um... I can cast Long Strider on two people. I can cast Long Strider as well. Um, you should cast it on yourself, Phlebotomus. Yeah, because I'm... You don't move quite as fast. <laughs> I'm a little slow. <laughs> that, with that, you'll be as fast as us. A little faster, because... You'll be able to keep up with Quilla. That's pretty good. I'm okay with that. That's pretty good, yeah. So I'm going to cast Long Strider on myself. How long does that last? It lasts for one hour. Yeah, so you guys are going to book it for an hour. Um, since that's faster than three miles an hour, I mean, you guys go maybe four miles? Well, it's rocky terrain, though. So I'm going to say four miles. We've got a range it, though. I know, I but it's still a matter of climbing up is slower. Climbing, do you get what I'm saying? Climbing mm-hmm. steps is slower than... Oh, okay. But, th- but then, you know, we also go down some steps. Yeah, but you have to make sure you don't break your ankles jumping down a three-foot step. That's okay. That's her responsibility. That's okay. No, it's... it's... Don't you have an ability that says we ignore difficult terrain? I do. Right, exactly. I'm not saying it's difficult terrain. I'm saying it's... There's still, like, the physical reality of ascending and descending in, like, a rocky... Oh, we're just doing it the correct way rather than trying to fuck around with... I mean, I can surf on my shield. Right? That's no, a I thing. Just mean, <laughs> I just mean on a map it's four miles, but if you actually took a string, it would oh. be more. Oh, that makes sense. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Oh, okay. okay yeah. That's yeah. it. That makes sense. So you guys go about four miles. And then your long straighters wear off. Um, 
What's your decision? Just gonna start walking normally? So it just passed without trace. We're off as well. It only lasts for an hour. I could cast it again. Do you think it's worth it? Every little bit helps. I'll do that. Okay. I'll do that an hour in. Taking a look at the map, can we guess about how far out we have left? Day yeah. and a half. Eight and a half miles. Let's continue. Day and a half. Day and a half. Day and a half. I, I would say let's continue jogging. Yeah. Yeah. You guys go. You guys go the rest of your day without any worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, your swan quest does not say that there's anything following you, does not sense any danger, never exposes any fear. Um, you guys do see it's a ways away on another cliff, but there is a herd of big horned sheep. Ooh. So there are more herbivores out here as you get out, um, which might draw the attention of predators if they were to follow you this far out. Um, okay. You pass things like Occasional well, hawks hunting. Should they arrow at those sheep? For like for what? Oh, to like scare them in a direction. To, to scare, scare them away? No, to bleed them. To lure oh, whatever's me. following us that way. Aye. I guess I no, can do thing, that. No, they're two miles away. I don't think. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> 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 they're like like if you were in the Grand Canyon and you saw across to the other side. You know what I mean? Like, oh, they're, yeah, no, the that's not gonna work. Sorry, Karen. Uh, well, what are you good it. for then? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm just here really for the pretty Just words. hurry up and shoot a shot two miles away. Shoot. Perfectly I'll accurate. Shoot. I'll shoot you in the bum if you walk in front of me. Don't tempt me with a good time. I knew you would say that. Keep <laughs> <laughs> your voices down. You might oh, start something. something. <laughs> <It's all laughs> okay, so you guys make it the rest of your day. The sun's going down. It's time to make camp again. Now it is a lot more rugged out here. There are not any shrubs. There's not any moss. There's not any grass. Let's actually switch to the other picture. Oh, Fuck that's it. not it. This one. <laughs> Sorry, that's from last week. Uh, you're getting more just straight rocky with some rare pine trees. Now, ahead of, ahead of you, up on your cliff, you can see you're getting close to the snow-covered mountains. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting closer to the snow-covered mountains. What? And That's then on so the, funny. On I made the silly face. On the snow, on the edge of the snow. <laughs> your wine. What face? Um, face. is it a blueberry wine? <laughs> 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 um, is that blueberry? Your Cabernet teeth, Sauvignon. Your teeth are blue. And no, I don't know if the not. camera's picking they're it not. up, but I can see it's it. It's not picking them up. It's are they blue? <laughs> Stop <laughs> 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 okay, so along the snow line, there's more foliage and more trees from the water that heats up and goes down the mountains. So you guys are in a barren area, but you think tomorrow you'll enter like a, a snow line where there'll be more <sighs> foliage. So, you guys have to try to sleep on that, on those cliffs. Oh! You guys are kind of on an on archway right now. It would be good if we could like anchor ourselves to a rock or something so we don't roll off and die. Preferably, that would be the safe choice. Uh, you are on a sturdy path. The issue is that the stones are tilted slightly. Okay. I've got to try and find some soft place for the uh, the little ones. Well, the little and the big one. Why? Well, I can sit oh, on the bone. I can meditate, but uh, the half elves and the yeah. gnome, they need some sleep. Can, can I try like, go climb that pine tree? Yeah. I'm gonna go climb a pine tree. Nice. Um, for what reason? To <laughs> sit in the pine tree and okay. meditate. Well, I was gonna say you guys could cut down pine branches, um, oh. and the pine leaves we... would be a little softer. Yes, that, yeah, was, that, that would hurt. hurt. No, pine boughs are actually quite comfortable. I mean, you take really? away the thick sticks and you just slash off. You take your sword and you slash off. Oh, so it's just the pine. Yeah, the pine it's not a lot, but it's something. That's a good idea. We could do that, but it will smell. But? It's a very, very potent pine smell. I'd prefer just a bunch of moss. It's kind of hard to At this to point, you think you're at least moss. a whole half a day from any predators. Plus, at this point, you've been doing pass without trace, so they don't really have a scent trail to pick up on us. That was only for the first two hours, which does give us a comfortable buffer. 
I feel like unless they like. Well, first of all, I'll look for some nice soft dirt. Oh. Yeah. Uh, 15? None. You guys could go down the cliff for the night if you wanted. Tie, a, tie a rope to the tree and climb down. This is fine where we are. But do we have to go down the cliff anyway? No, it's fine. If you want to travel in the dark. Uh, we that should. might be worth it. What do you think? I'm thinking it would be best to just do the kind thing and stuff. I here. agree. I don't think we should climb. All right. Until the morning, at least. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. Well, we'll do that then. Quella, get the pine b- branches. Okay. Yeah. Flex? What I do? Just, yeah. Survival. Yeah. just, just. I don't even no. think you need a roll screen for this. Okay. You guys are just, just collecting. So it's fine. Okay. You good? Um, at this point, you guys have rolled so many things. You're fine. <laughs> Um, you're able to collect pine, you're able to sleep on it, not the best, but... How about some moss? No, it's really dry up here. Sorry. Well, this is the best we can do. You guys have killed a displacer beast, I would've let you sleep on the hide. I would've slept in its goods. That's gross! It's, it's soft! Warm. It's like a big sleeping bag. It's like stuff in the Okay. Still gross? Who was taking uh, first watch? And I thought this smelled bad on the outside! <laughs> <laughs> Who was taking first watch? Karen. As per usual. Roll perception. Oh, very good. 22. Very far away in the distance, in the dead silent of this rocky landscape, you hear something that is a mix of a howl and a cat growl, oh, and it's just very far away. I'm talking a, like across another mountain, but it's so loud that it pierced through the air and hit everything. They found our trail. Uh, it is. You don't think it's a displacer beast? It really? sounds like something more windy and more melodic. Like is this a new? Really far away. What should I roll to try to identify it? Well, Would you not wake up from that if it was that loud? Um, it's on the wind. I... It was so far away you wouldn't wake up, but Karen did hear it clearly. Okay. I remember this thing like being a rumor or whatever a while back, wasn't it? What was the rumor? Like a big, like, <gasps> six-legged cat Stop. monster or whatever. Well, Displacer Beast or six-legged Well, place. like a big one. I don't remember. <laughs> but like a big one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no good at this. But I remember it. The Splicer Beasts are like four times as big as you two, so it's like, they're huge. But no, Everything's you're bigger. talking like, yeah, there's a rumor that in the Cloven Mountains, there is a dragon-sized cat beast. That's People think it's like a cat god or something, but it's just cat. rumors. It's just rumors that if you go into these mountains, you will be attacked by cats. Is it possible that it howls? I mean, it could be just the displacer beast. It could be. I mean, it could. Rumors can be millions of things. So you guys run with that as much as you want to. All right. Um, I will try to identify the cry. Okay, I would do nature. All right. Twenty-one. The only things that you've ever heard make sounds like that have very, very long throats, and it gives them the ability to do a lot of notes that they're sliding up and down. It's a cat dragon! So it's something with a very, very, very long, like, body. It's a tigrex! A giraffe. <laughs> it's a tigrex is a short necks. Is that a giraffe? Yeah, a long, long. giraffe. It's a giraffe. Because <laughs> we're in the savannah. How will I get the mood? <laughs> The sound it makes when he gets leaves stuck in his throat. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, anyway. So, that is what happened on your watch, which made you super alert the rest of the time, but nothing else happened. So, it is Quella's turn for watch. Do you want to tell Quella about what you heard at all? Well, Quella, I heard some. Strange haunting beast on the wind. Was so, it a giraffe? It was not a giraffe. Oh, Those are in the savannas. <laughs> <laughs> Although it did. It, something about it that required a very long neck to make. It could have been. Uh, maybe a dragon? A dragon? 
Like that cat dragon that we heard the rumor about? We didn't. Well, no, full bottom is still doing Oh, okay. It. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes. Yes, <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, it's the only thing I can think about here. Maybe, maybe we should wake up fully. About maybe it? your uh, your duck was out mating. <laughs> you would lead her out of this. She was sleeping up in the pine tree. I was just asking. Anyway, good night. Let's do what I have to deal with. <laughs> okay. You're okay. talking to yourself. Perception. Well, okay. Uh... Time. Okay. There's no more noises. You listened for them. You looked for anything on the horizon that you could see. You just sat and watched the starlight hit the edge of the mountain range and absolutely nothing. You guys had a good rest of your night. You're fully rested, fully spell slotted, everything you need, and you're on your last day trip to your destination. Um, according to the map, that Gothari sapling could be anywhere between here and the mountain you're going towards. Um, on your map, the mountain you're going towards is called Stone Tooth Mountain, and it's the big one that's got all the snow on top of it. Um, so you guys are basically just going straight towards the highest peak, and there are a lot of little ridges on your way there. You're going to be weaving between. All right, keep your eyes sharp for a large black tree. Oh, I forgot you guys have a quest. Are you going to have quest fly and look for something too? Yeah. I'm going to have her go and fly and see if she can find anything. Okay. Toggin or... Or a wizard. Or a wizard. Or a beast that we need to be afraid of. Anything like that. And just random wizards in the... Just, in the well, mountains. there was that... That co- coatl? That's true. Yeah, it's told us about the wizard. Oh, yeah, the there's, there's a dirty wizard. You know the same one that said there's a crack in my soul? I mean, there is. Why and are you your yelling butt? at me? I don't know. I'm just upset about it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's fair. It's okay. We all have cracks in our arses. I knew you were going to say that I mean, speak for yourself. You don't? I don't need to. Hold <laughs> on. Did you just hear what he said? Do you I not have a crack? What all of you say. I mean, have you ever seen a young <laughs> butt? Have you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so... So I'll cast Good Berry, that'll feed us yep. for the day. You guys will need that, it's still pretty sparse. I don't feel like <laughs> setting a campfire up tonight. So you're not stealthing, right? Uh, well, I will cast... Again, I think we should do the From snare, here. just in case. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then pass it out to Chase. Do we want to bother finding something to poison it with? Because I don't think Do you want me to see if I can find another critter? I don't think there's going to be a lot sure. of critters around here. Matt as well. Well, your primeval awareness will be able to find beasts. Oh, That's true. yeah, you want to use that? Yeah. Is it like a minute of concentration or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Learn your class abilities. This cliff is covered in... Centipedes. Yes, there are bugs everywhere. But Centipedes. But for beasts... <laughs> little um, I don't know. I don't. Is it mouse pika? The little Pikachu? The mouse hamsters. They're like brown and they live in the mountains and pikas. Yeah. 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 You, it's a whole bunch of little mice that are live in little cliffs and crannies oh, and the holes. Oh, are they the ones with the long tails? I don't remember. Those I are kangaroo I don't rats. Think they have two. Is that what those are? And they're in Australia. I think. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. Kangaroo rats. Let me yeah. look up a picture for you so you know what it it's is. It's a kangaroo rat. No. Kangas, Kangas Khan. I thought that was the stupidest Pokemon cry in the TV show. <laughs> really? They're they not even trying. They do not have tails. They're like little hamsters. They're really oh cute. my god, I don't want to kill oh, one of those. No, you you're can, not going to kill one of those. You're going to kill 20 of them. <laughs> I want an arm full of them. Oh, they're cute. I can find a rock. Oh my god, one. they're really cute. Oh, oh no. my gosh, you guys are so mean, making me have to kill one of those now. Ears. You're the ranger, you're supposed to kill them. <laughs> I know it. Now, is that the species that has never interacted with humans and or any predator, so it's just happy all the time? I don't 
remember. Oh, maybe. Oh, one of those is a pet. Oh no! I th- you're thinking of you're making it much more difficult for her to kill this thing. Small I'm sure that's the idea. Plants. I'm sure the taste is oh, wonderful. They're found in North America. Oh, that's why they're on my list. Okay, with short limbs, very round body, even coat of fur, no external tail. They resemble their close cousin, the rabbit, but they have short, rounded ears. Okay, so it's a weird cliff rabbit. All right, I'll do it. Did that means they're the brainless. Idea? I'll what? Do it. Well, those kinds of species tend to be particularly stupid. There are oh, I see. Uh. so many. <laughs> but you, they see you coming, and they run into their little holes. Oh, so yeah. you're going to have to either scare one out of a hole and snatch it, or you're going to have to sneak up on one. Make your goose just... swoop down on it and snatch them up. Oh, that's a don't do that. Shoot it with your bow. Just still do it if get I in the hole. Too. Light dynamite and throw it in the hole. <laughs> I don't think that's some dynamite. Can, can I just shoot it? Can I shoot it? Fireball, whatever. I can invent it, probably. I, that I, I wouldn't put that no, past you. No, I wouldn't yeah. do that, but you could oh. shoot one from a distance. From a distance. Go ahead and roll the hit. AC is high because it's so freaking tiny. Five. Yeah. Plus. Oh, sorry. Eight? Yeah. Oh, I Probably s- still miss, but. Twelve? So that's a thirteen. Thirteen? Thirteen, yeah. Of course it is. Mmm. I'm gonna say you hit it. I'm gonna say you hit it because hit there a was a whole, there's a whole family of them, and you were bound to hit one of them. Oh, I, was, I was trying to get You're a high pitch out of so that. So terrible, <laughs> Samantha. <laughs> okay, so you hit you hit one, and there's just a cute little mouse body on an arrow, like way bigger than it. How big are they? I thought they were like this big, but I could be wrong. Oh, that's insane. That's almost half a meal once you get the meat off it. Let me look up how big they are. <laughs> it's like a six ounce steak, maybe? They're, yeah, they're about eight ounces, depending on the species, anything from four to eight ounces. Well, like eight inches. Grab a couple of them. All right, I'll shoot a couple of them. Okay, so you go and collect them, and you've got your bouquet of arrows with mice on them, with picas on them. That sounds delicious. And you bring them back. Just gigantic shish kebabs. So Here you go. You guys land on a trap. Do I have to get a rock for this one? No. They're already dead. I mean, they could be wiggling. No, they're dead. If you See want them. to hit them with rock, you can. They're a type of animal that when they feel that amount of pain, they just go into shock and they die. That's rough. <sighs> it's an evolution. <laughs> it's so hard on me. <laughs> a feature. At least they're not suffering. Yeah. That is true. So anyway, I, so I, I got them you guys nice. lay them in the, in the trap and you head off. And you guys roll perception for your travels. Yeah. Oh, I did oh, a right. lot. Yeah. Wow. I got a nine. Twenty-one. Eleven. Seventeen. Mm-hmm. You two are keeping an eye down low. You don't see anything. Um, you're keeping your eye out because Quest is flying around for you, helping you search, and Kieran. You're remembering what the map maker said about how you put it somewhere where no one could really reach? Somewhere up really high or very low. Either way. So you guys travel um, most of the day. It's afternoon at this point, like 3 or 4 p.m. The sun is starting to fall. And with the sun falling to the west and you're going north, the light hits something just right. And you get... Well, both of you kind of see the same thing, the swan and Kieran. Um, Quest signals to you fear, something disturbing, and flies back down to you. And you see, really up high, just very barely weird curled branches that don't look right. And it's probably still an hour out from you guys. And you're starting to get into a more wooded area. It's starting to get more, um, how do I put this? It's got more trees and more shrubs and more grass, but it's still like that mountain on the far side where there's a lot of rocky space where nothing can grow. So there's clumps where things can get a foothold. How difficult is it? To get up to the tree, it'll probably take you guys twice as long to climb. You'll want to use things like um, pitons and rope and you'll have to really build your way up there. I'm going to be shaped into a goat! <laughs> what then? A, a goat? What's a goat? A goat! A goat! 
Um, do you guys want to tell your companions what you've seen? All right. Well, look up there. You see there. What but, am I looking at? Uh, the the tiny, tiny little uh, black curly lines. I don't see it. No, there. Lift oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. It I is. think I think it's dangerous because Quest got really afraid. Well, I suppose we can go check it out then. I'll be shaped into into a goat. Someone someone ties all the ropes we have together, and I'll hop on up the cliff. Oh, oh! Can I ride you? I'm tiny. Probably good. Ah, well, you're small. I'm and I'm small as a goat. You're a mountain goat. They're not small. Not a mountain goat. Just a a billy goat. goat. Just a goat. And so we'll be of the same size. So. I will, uh, I will headbutt you off the cliff. Just Your best the... stay down here. I'll stay down here. Jump on Quell's back. Okay. Mine! <laughs> and then I go to climb on I Quell's back. I don't get back. to transform Be into shit. anything. You can transform into a wolf. That's true, but that's, oh. not, gonna help, that's not gonna help climbing a mountain. Ooh, it might. It might, yeah. I don't think transforming into a wolf will help me climb a mountain. Well, you got four points. There's not a wolf, isn't there? If yeah, they have right. timber wolves, Mexican. they have mountain wolves, right? There's wolves in Mexico that are good at climbing yeah. mountains, too. Hold on. I'll look up the wolf real quick. But, so you guys are deciding to have two people turn into animals? Possibly? If it were a cat, it would be really good for climbing trees. That's true. But not so good at getting out of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if a wolf would be a good option. Because um, I, get st- cause how much, I could possibly climb up there, but getting down will be difficult. What's your strength? My strength? Yeah. As a wolf? What's your strength? As a Yeah, um, the strength of a wolf is stronger, so it'd just be slightly better. Well, once we get to the top, you can descend with ropes and such easier than you would ascend. That's true. I mean, if you slip, then you could assist. It's yeah. Section. That's actually not a bad combo. Yeah, let's do it. So is the billy goat going to have like ropes tied to its horns to help the bottomless climb up, or...? Okay, well, I'm going to ride Quella I'll get up there. Okay. With with the rope in my mouth, with a knot tied already, and I'll look for something to hook it onto once I get to the uh, oh, extent. Okay. Um, that works. Can you guys roll another perception while you're seeing talking? <laughs> Nat twenty. I've got a nine. Oh, twelve. I, good job. I got Thanks. a nineteen. <laughs> um, Very you guys good. are all sitting in a circle discussing this, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and Quella, you're kind of just, you went to turn to look, and that wasn't there before. Oh. There's, one of the trees looks like its trunk is way thicker. It just doesn't look right. Guys, that tree doesn't look right. <laughs> what tree? That one. It's a lot thicker than it was when we were here before. I don't know. Like the one I just saw it a little bit ago. Hmm. It's really thick. It's now. about um, forty feet away from you. It was not that big before. Meh, 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 meh. Can I roll nature to see if there's anything funky or off about it? Yeah, it's hard to see from here, so it'd be more like you guys really like investigating it. Well, to okay. do that, I'm going to Billy Goat climb up the mountain. Uh, you would have to walk past this tree to get up the mountain. It's on mm. your way there. Go and take a look-see at it, Mr. Billy Goat. Yeah, you're a goat. Yeah, by yourself. Go up there and take a look at it. (laughs) Please do it. 40 feet away. You goat this. (laughs) 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 You just imagine a fainting goat and him seeing it and just like falling. (laughs) Do you want me to come with you? I I will follow Kieran. Up to it? Yeah. Where's the plain white one? I was going to do the small one. Oh my god. (laughs) Well, they do that! <laughs> Just scream. <laughs> 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 okay, let me mark the tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, please keep doing Tell that. Tell how you're in trouble. Yeah, that's how we know that he's in trouble. We'll hear him scream or go, <laughs> 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 Okay, um, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just marking some trees. 
and I'll get the map up. And so it's Ixeldor and the goat are going up, right? Yes. The screaming goat. These are just. I want to be a fainting goat. <laughs> <laughs> just a mad little goat fainting when he sees something and rolling down the cliff. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so you guys are just gingerly walking towards it. Yeah, weapon well, drawn. You're gonna. Are you preparing anything? Are you just? How close are you gonna let yourselves get to it? We should discuss this after break. Oh my god, it's been an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Has it really? Okay, let me turn off Very the close. map then. What are we at? 55, 56 minutes? Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Thank you for joining us on Lost and Finders episode 3. It was just a lot of us climbing through the mountains, a lot of travel time. Uh, but we're going to get into seeing what what is so creepy about this area on our next episode. So, thank you for joining us where we play D&D in our basement as per tradition. Hope you're having fun playing your D&D wherever you play it, doing however you do. We'll see you next time.